please don't make fun of my curly bangs because I'm still trying to get used to them. And if you make fun of me now, I'm something bad is going to happen up here. Okay, the books I read in June. I honestly didn't read that much in June to the point where I don't even remember what I read. Like, I'm not going to lie. I have to go look at my notes. What the fuck else did I read? Sorry, I'm like picking stuff out of my little bookshelf. You know what's actually crazy i've been reading so much recently that this month i didn't read that much and it feels like a little bit to me it's six but five we're gonna throw this one in here because i started it and i feel like if i'm not gonna finish it but i got halfway through so we're gonna count it it's the fact that i've been reading so much that i think this is a little bit for a month get an actual life okay so i started the month off strong and i read the last book of the twisted series which is twisted lies i um the way that this was my least favorite one is actually so sad i thought it was so boring it's the way that they had zero connection at all i just could not get behind it like, like the main character the man he was just boring to me like he was boring and the plot of it being like i saw you once and i was obsessed the moment i saw you like like get a life that's how i feel i feel like you should get a life she was really driven about her career and I liked the way they wrote about it. It made me want to read more stuff about that. So that's the one thing I liked about this book. But other than that, it's the worst of the series and it's the biggest one. Like, y'all wasted my time. The next book I read was better than the movies. It feels like you're watching a movie when you're when you're reading it. I was going to say when you're watching it. When you're reading it, it feels like you're watching a movie. It's actually really cute. It has a lot of references to, like, romance movies and stuff like that. And I really, really liked it. It's a young adult book. So there's not, like, a lot of profanity and like vulgarity or stuff like that so it felt weird reading it because i'm used to the adult type like i loved it i'm gonna get more into ya because of this book and then i read this i started it and i hated it and then in the middle i was kind of like okay i kind of like it and then towards the end i was like okay i hate it i wanted to give penelope douglas another chance because she wrote one of my favorite books but she keeps failing me i try and i try and she keeps failing me we'll be, we'll get back to that this is about like pen pals who got assigned to each other by accident because the teacher didn't know that one was a girl and the other was a boy and one of them hated them when they found out who they really were in real life and then it was a bully situation and then they fell in love blah 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 boring but there were some parts that i did like not gonna lie i won't be completely mean there was some parts i did like and then i read the wings of the serpent i still don't know how to say this one before you look the serpent and wings of night i love this book it's a fantasy book and i'm still like iffy about fantasy books because i'll be into them one second and then not into them the second like the next second and with this one i was into it the whole time until we got towards kind of the end where i was just bored I was just a little bored. If I had to reread it, like as if it's my first time reading it, I still would read it because it was good. It's really a good story. So if you like fantasy, like vampire type things, this is a, I liked this and love the main characters, both of them. And then I read this flawless, which my boyfriend got me. I just wanted to put that out, out there. I liked this book. I'm not going to finish the series because I just feel like people hyped up the series so bad. That I was like, you know what? I'm gonna read that first one. And if I like the first one, like I'm gonna read the series. I read the first one. I liked the first one. I don't care to continue the series. One second I'm invested in the story, and then the next second he's like, I'm in love with her. I'll give my life to be with her. Yeehaw. Like, bro, can we be realistic? But it was good. I I did like it. It was a really cute story. I'm glad I read it. But it was like, what is going on? Like, why are we moving so fast? And then I feel like there wasn't like a significant plot in this. Like the significant plot was them getting together. Do you know what I'm saying? Penelope Douglas again, bro. I tried giving her another chance, bro. Penelope Douglas. I am not going to finish that. There's there's one thing I realized with this book. Right? I definitely like men. This was fun until it was not. Then I'm like, okay, y'all bitches are doing too much. And we get some significance in here. Like what? The What goes on in Penelope Douglas' brain? How does she come up with this stuff? I basically read this. This is how much I have left. I read this, bro. And I feel like... I, I have no idea how it ends. I'm this deep in and I don't know how it ends. I don't care either. Do not care. Penelope, sweetie, I'm sorry. But no. Also, look at this. Look at this malfunction. This is a, the page. Like, I don't know what happened here, but that shit is crazy. Oh, anyways. I don't care. This was a strange book. <laughs> it was a really strange book. I might finish it in audiobook because sometimes like I can just zone out and listen to it, but reading it was not the thing for me and then literally the 31st of june 30th there's no 31st the 30th of june i started this this summer will be different which is the second book to every summer after which i loved rated this five stars really like this but I 
so I thought I would really like this one. I thought maybe that her main characters are going to be a little younger because I like reading about people my age. When I opened this and thought that they were like 40 years old, I was like, bro, they're not actually 40 years old, but they're older. So I read like one chapter and I was like, oh, <laughs> I put it right back. I started another book, which I love right now. But then July 1st, so I'm going to count this as June because I just want to just so i could get it out of the way because i did want to know how the sto how like what the story was i read it on audiobook finished it in a day and i liked it it was okay and that's it 